enough. When you need the when you need it the most, you're not gonna have the coverage because you're not expecting a two to three to four to five hundred dollar increase. Right? Here's the biggest problem. You've been paying a hundred dollars a month for thirty years. Just like when you rent somewhere and the lease is up, do they say, just lease it up? You are a great tenant. Here's a check. Do they do that? So you, you'll be happy to get that deposit back, right? So when people need it most, they end up dropping it, and all of that premium that you paid from day one, who gets to keep it if you decide to drop it? The insurance company. All right? Not deciding for you. Just let just wing it out. All right. That's how term insurance works. <laughs> Permanent insurance, however, <clears throat> works a little different. Just like when you own somewhere, as long as you keep up with the premiums, you can have it for the rest of your life once you once you take it out. So let's say we take that same scenario. We have a three hundred thousand dollar uh three hundred thousand thousand dollar policy. Now this is a permanent policy, and we're paying a hundred dollars hundred dollars a month. You can have that for the rest of your life, then you're paying that hundred dollars a month for the rest of your life. You don't have to worry about renewing it. <coughs> Just like when you own somewhere. You own it as long as you keep up with the premiums. Now, there's even some, some permanent policy that will even reward you for the premiums that you put in there every month. What do I mean by reward you? Well, they'll do, they'll, they'll take a portion of that $100, and you'll pay for the cost of insurance, whatever that amount is. And whatever's left over, They'll put in a cash value account for you, right? And this cash value account grows over time. Every time you put in a premium, you pay a portion of it, and the rest of it goes in the bills and the bills and the bills, all right? That's where I'm gonna stop, because there's more information that you wanna know uh, when deciding on putting a plan together like that. But that's how permanent policies work. You put it in, you set it up, you don't have to worry about renewing it, and you have it for the rest of your life as long as you keep up with the premiums. All right, anybody have any questions as it relates to both term and term? Yes, sir. Can you, can you turn, turn a term into a perm? Um, yeah. Great question. Some companies allow you to offer. Some companies have what's called a convertible term policy, which means that let's say, for instance, you start out very, 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 very young, and you start out, and but you don't have a whole lot of money to work with, right? And you say, okay, I only have this amount to work with. Because just like with owning versus renting, renting is usually cheaper than when you own, just like with term versus permanent. Permanent policies are usually more expensive than, um, uh, than term policies. So what some, what some companies will allow you to do, they allow you to start off as a term, and after, after 13 months or 24 months, your term, term policy can now be converted into a permanent policy. It may be a little bit more expensive when you do that conversion, but at least you'll be able to convert it. So it's a good strategy when you're when 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 you talk about finances. Uh, how do I uh, get coverage, but make sure I stay within my budget? You can do that by doing term convertible terms, but not all term policies are convertible. So that's something that you have to, if you know it, you have to. Um, ask when you're when you're uh, deciding on uh, um, a policy choice you know so you would it would it would be a conversation where you would say uh, is this term policy convertible right and they should be able to answer that for you all right does that make, 
What, the, yeah, what is the average, based on the experience that you've had, what's the average um, expense on uh, permanent insurance? Uh, if you were to convert from term to term? I couldn't give you that number. Because that is based on it's a in, it's based on individuals. It's a based on a, it's on an individual basis. Now they have ranges, but it's based on an individual uh, based on an individual uh, basis. Because they do it based on rate class. So what do I mean by rate class? Uh, how healthy you are. They put you in a rate class. So if you're totally healthy. You get us. You get a superior rate. If you're okay, they'll give you below, right below that, and so on and so forth. Uh, so I couldn't give you a number to put on that, but if you decide, if you had a convertible term, uh, that that representative would be able to tell you how much it would be if you were to convert it, um, depending on uh, what company you're working with. You had a question, Carl? Yeah, I was going to ask. Um, so, if the term you're currently paying the 100 bucks a month for the exact same kind of coverage, what's the purpose of the term policy? <clears throat> well, this is just an example. Okay. Uh, depending on the amount of coverage and the age and things, the numbers could be a little different. But it's the concept I want you to get. Okay. Right? Uh, would I rather. Would I rather have a temporary coverage and understanding that it's going to increase significantly at once that once that period is up, or would I rather have something permanent that I don't have to worry about it going up later? That's the that's the that's the concept. All right. Any other questions? Now again, you saw both. I'll let you decide. All right, real quick, term insurance provides coverage for a specific period of time, such as 10 or 20 years or more. It can be re renewed when the term is over, usually at a higher rate. However, it does not build a cash value. Permanent insurance coverage offers long, lifelong financial protection as long as a policy's premium is paid up to the death of the insured. Uh, it also builds cash value uh, that's funded by a portion of premiums uh, uh, the policy of holder pays. The policy holder can access this, this cash value if needed, but any outstanding loans are subtracted from the death benefit when it is paid, all right? Now again, now, as far as types of permanent policies, there are different types of permanent policies out there. All right? I'm not going to go over how they work um, tonight. If you want more information, you know, definitely let me know. I can go over, the, go over that with you uh, on an individual basis. But there are different types of policy, uh, permanent policy out there, um, uh, depending on um, what suits, what would, what would be recommended best for you. That would be on an individual basis. All right. Any questions? That's it for tonight. Any questions? Um, can you explain the cash down portion of that project? Okay. Very briefly. <laughs> because I don't want to get too technical. Uh, because. Again, it's on an individual basis, all right? And if you want to learn more, that's when we would, you know, have a conversation. But how it works, let's say, for instance, we're chopping up this $100 here. And we say, let's, let's just keep the math easy. Let's say we cut it 50-50, all right? $50 goes to pay for the cost of insurance. $50 goes to the cash value account. Depending on what type of coverage you have, what type of permanent policy you have, this cash value account gets credited some type of interest on top of it. So 
based on the type of insurance you have will determine how much of uh, interest you get. Because some, uh, because the, 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 depending on what type it is, it'll tell you if it's based on bond rates, which are usually conservative, or if it's based on the S&P 500 stock markets uh, and those rates. And that can be significantly higher. Uh, did I answer your question? <laughs> I was just wondering when can I get that cash? <laughs> Where? How does that? How do you cash it out? How does that benefit me? Like. Good question. All right, so we just spent some time on that. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, <laughs> the reason why the reason why the reason why this can the reason why this is a great piece can be a great piece. Of now, these are looked upon as long-term savings plans, uh, long-term cash value accumulation plans. I gotta make sure I'm wording this properly. All right. The reason why this is looked upon as a great alternative piece to a long-term savings because, in addition to whatever you're using for retirement, uh, 401k, IRAs, whatever the case may be, this is another added bucket.